Hundreds of students held a protest on the campus of Bethune Cook University in Daytona Beach today. Those students are upset that the university ended contract negotiations with prospective head football coach and former NFL great Ed Reed. As West Coast Claire Metz reports, they think it's retaliation for comments that Reed recently made on social media. The students believe are the truth. Hundreds of Bethune-Cookman University students sent a message to the administration, to the board, to anyone who would listen with a peaceful but vocal campus protest. We voice concerns. We send emails all the time, no responses. So this is what it has come to. It came to that after the university broke off negotiations with prospective head football coach Ed Reed. Reed had recently taken to social media, often using profanity to criticize physical conditions here at BCU, even claiming his office wasn't clean. Reed later apologized, but the university decided this weekend to reopen their search. While students are petitioning to bring Reed back, they say it's time they speak out too. We have a voice. BCU student Tyrone Franklin Jr. is a quarterback on the football team. Disappointed the university dropped Ed Reed. I think him showing that what we're going through as a student body should be shown. Many people has been saying this for a long time. Students shared pictures of what they say are some campus concerns, including broken doors, mold in dorm rooms, even growing on stuffed animals. The first couple months I was here, I literally was sick because of the mold. My shower makes my skin break out because, like, they don't really care about the health of their students. Many here told us Ed Reed spoke the truth about issues at the university, and they showed up, even marched in the street, to have it all reheard. At the end of the day, they say this is what they want university leaders to respond to. What is the next step? How do we get this solved? What can they do to make this better for all of the students here? In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.